So for this video, you're gonna want a glass of wine because I got a story about this one. Hey Diz Nerds, welcome back to my channel. If you're coming back, thank you always so much for your support. But if you are of course new here, Welcome, my name is Alex. I am a hardcore Disney nerd, but also a Canadian as my handle to suggest. And we do a lot of things on this channel, especially unboxings, pins, Funkos, and vlogs now apparently, because I just got off of a trip in September and I just finished my series. I think it was like a 10 parter. Um, I, I hope you had fun with me along with that. I am currently in Walt Disney World. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What um, and hopefully doing some more vlogs. So if you are following along the journey, I hope you're having some fun. Do you know that I'm constantly updating my Instagram probably right now with tons of stories about what we're doing. Today, the reason why you need a glass of wine is because we have a part two to my Magic Mail Monday that I did last week because it had a lot of Christmas items that Jessie was picking up for me from her trip in November or December, I think it was end of November, where she graciously picked it up and I've known Jessie for a while. I went on the trip with her in those vlogs, as I mentioned earlier, and we have another trip coming up, maybe even two. Don't get me started. There's a reason why um, Jesse and I were fated to be friends, but at the same time, we are the worst thing for each other because we are such enablers, especially when it comes to Disney and Harry Potter. Oh, Lord. Girl. But that is to say, she was so nice to go pick me up some items and also gracious enough because she also put some surprises in here because this box feels really full in comparison to what I think I remember that I purchased from Jesse. So we're gonna go jump into it, but the reason why we're having a glass of wine is we have a journey with how this box got to me as well. The story is, is that unfortunately, Jesse um, mixed up the numbers in my address. And so therefore it was taking forever to get to me. And I was like, what's going on? It kept getting shipped here and there and left and right. And then it was eventually going to be returned to her Cut to the day after, because they noticed that there was a difference in the number, they said, oh, we corrected the address, you're gonna get it today. And then it marked itself as delivered in like my postal package kind of community center boxes. So I went downstairs, nothing was there. So I, of course, had like a little panic attack, contacted Canada Post, they said, well, it's lost because it says delivered. But with my postal code, because I live in a condo building, there's two condo buildings, this one and the one that's right next door that has the exact same postal code. So I know if they corrected the address and they have my name and like literally if they just play around the numbers, they should get my address based off of everything and the postal code, you would think I would get it at the right address. Nay, nay, that is not what happened here. So let me just get another glass of sip of wine because I was so... I was exhausted yesterday. What they did is because the number of my unit is, is 5077 and Jesse by accident put it as 5770, but then they went ahead and put it as 5025, which is my neighbor's. So I literally was wondering if they put the key in like, you know, somebody else's box within my building. Maybe it could be in the next building. I honestly had no idea. So I put in like a group chat of the building, like, if anybody has the key or see this package, it's very obvious because it says bippity all over it. But at the same time, I even went to the next building. Here's the thing. By pure magical, coincidental, fairy godmother luck, it was really our lucky stars. Jesse was on the phone with Canada Post to follow through with the investigation, the ticket number, but I just ran into a Canada Post worker, the nicest guy ever, and he said, oh, well, how about this? Let's go back to your building, check all the boxes. I'll just open them, see if you can kind of see your box there. And if not, we'll go back to this building. The nicest guy ever. And what happened? It was in the next door's building with my condo number, but they put it for the 5025 building rather than the 5077 based on the postal code. But could you imagine if I lived in a street block where like the postal code was for like 20 houses? It was just by pure luck and just the pure graciousness of this lovely Canada Post gentleman that I was able to find the box and he said, well, I need to make sure it's you. So I luckily had a piece of ID on me with my address. It showed my name. I had the email that had my 
um, tracking number on there as well. So it's just to say that this box has been on a journey. And so for that reason, I wanted to make it a separate video because I knew that my post Christmas haul video was going to be already pretty long. And since we went on this journey and, you know, I'm sure there's some fun surprises. I, I, I just knew that you guys would probably appreciate um, opening this box with me and kind of doing a fun unboxing that's not bippity, but that's Jessity, just, just, Jessity, 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 um, box. It's a Jessity unboxing. There we go. So let's go ahead and jump into the box from Jesse. Oh my God. And even before I forget, so Jesse, who I'm even talking about, she's also a YouTuber um, uh, in terms of the Disney verse and Harry Potter and whatnot. So I'll link all her information down below on her channel. She's honestly such an amazing person and friend. I'm so happy to have her in my life. And so we're going to go ahead and jump into this box. I've already pre-cut it. Um, and typically as it opens, it goes like this. So you guys will be seeing it for the first time at the same time that I'm seeing it. So we're just gonna go ahead and open it. And I'm seeing this. Now already, I'll, already I'm seeing something that I don't think I ordered, <laughs> that, that, that I ordered, that, that I asked her for. So I'm wondering if this is like a gift. So let me just go ahead. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's from Primark. Ooh, I wonder if she got this, um, from Karen's USA Adventures because she, her friend Karen from Karen's USA Adventures, she does Primark uh, pickups and it is a stitch cosmetic bag or like a stitch kind of like pencil bag. And it has your dreaming of a vacation, which is what Jesse and I always do 24 seven when we talk to each other. We're literally always planning our next trip. And this is just so stinking cute. I'm just gonna put down the box right now. And I'm seeing some things inside and what I'm seeing is something I've been waiting for and I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it or not. Oh, there's a couple of things. Oh, damn girl. The first thing is, is that this is the first time and if you haven't followed me on the vlogs, this is the first time that I became an annual pass holder for Walt Disney World. And I've been wanting this since like I knew about it, since I dreamed about becoming a pass holder. It is the famous kind of magnet that you get as an annual pass holder. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it. I think it got sent to her address cause they can only send it to a, like an American address. So she most likely got it and she sent it to me. Oh, Jess, I'm so excited by this. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my God, I can't wait to put this on the fridge. She also, dang, you really put a lot. What the hell is in here? Okay, um, there is this Stitch pencil that I have seen before at the parks. So it is Stitch with his like outline. I did not get this for myself. She definitely did give this to me. Thank you so much, Jesse. It's so cute. I'm always, I'm very okay, archaic. I don't know about you guys. Are you somebody that prefers to do everything on your phone, but like when you're at work and you're taking down notes, you use more like a notebook and pen? I'm that guy. I'm that oldie. I always say that I'm like the grandfather on the floor because I've been at my job for like eons, but also because I'm super archaic and I love the feel of notebooks and writing and everything. And she knows that about me. Oh, and it is a pen. It's not a pencil. So it's a pen. So even better. So can you imagine me in my leadership position writing? <laughs> writing with a stitch pen. I will do it. I don't care. I'm still going to do it. But um, just imagine that. Yeah, that's me. That's me in a nutshell right there. So thank you so much, Jesse. That's a fun little addition. I'm also seeing here this really fun. Um, oh, this is perfect because I actually needed one with this little. Okay, so it is a card holder. Um, and specifically when I'm going to Universal, um, we are getting express pass and will call. And so um, because it's not, they, they have more of like a locker system over there at Universal, even though this is like a Disney thing. And obviously as a queer individual, it's very nice in terms of the rainbow colors. I can go ahead and put my express in here. I can attach it to my pants as I'm going. So she got me this like really lovely pride style card holder that has the extendable one. And this also will come really handy when I go to work because I always do this thing. I am someone who always fidgets with my hands, so I know I'm gonna be playing with this. Jessie as well is someone who like fidgets a lot with her hands. We're very, we have a lot of like common um, energy in that way and in terms of our likes. So Jessie, this is so sweet. I'm, I wasn't, I wasn't like expecting all these like little surprises. What is this? Oh, these are, huh? Oh, did I forget 
to oh <laughs> okay i get it okay because desserts i actually pin traded these pins at the park and i guess i must have forgotten them in the room yeah because this makes sense i remember pin trading for these pins in the parks i must have left them behind oh my god thank you jesse so um this is the one of uh chip no this is the one of dale sorry because it has a red nose it's dale so it's the chinese new year one that we did last year uh so at the beginning of 2021 and they had it on the board and this is like a pretty premium pin in terms of those mystery boxes so i said like i would be stupid not to trade for it and like use it as a trader for something else. They also had the um, Halloween castle pin at one of the uh, pin traders. So I also got this one and it's gorgeous. I did not have it to my collection. So I'll definitely add that to my pin board for next Halloween. Gorgeous. Oh my God. It's like all like candy corn, if you can kind of see. And like the Mickey ears are like kind of like lollipop themes to, I guess, represent like shrubs or just like garnishes around with like the candy, right? And the last one is, I think is um, more of like a, a fake pin, but I just thought it was so cute. It is Prince Philip um, from Sleeping Beauty. And so I just, I've, I've had like always like a little crush more on Prince Eric, but like, I don't know why Prince Philip has been doing it for me recently. He's just so cute. So I also picked him up. So she threw that inside the bag because I probably forgot in the room or whatnot. And that again was all in, in this lovely case, which I can use for toiletries. I can use for, um, you know, as a pencil case and whatnot. So thank you for the little extras. I absolutely love that. Okay, let's go ahead and look into this further. Oh, the next one. Oh, yeah, okay, this one is one that I asked her to pick up. Oh, what's that? Girl, what did you do? Um, okay, the next one is a headband, which, okay, 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 okay. I am so excited by this. She went to Olani recently, and they have this headband of Stitch eating um, their snow cone, or kind of like the ice cone. I don't remember the official term of it, but it's like kind of like the rainbow cone. The shaved ice. It's shaved ice cone, I believe. And so we have Stitch on this headband surrounded by these lovely flowers and it is him eating an ice cone with like a little necklace of flowers as well. He's super soft and so cute. And it has these like little sparkles on it. And it does say it's from Olani. Um, so this was one that I wanted alongside of another one where I think it was like Stitch and all like the Duffy and Friend characters. And this is definitely one that she was able to pick up for me. So I am going to be wearing this. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so in love with this. <gasps> Look at his face. Oh my God, okay. And this was also perfect timing because the other reason why is there's some things in this box that I wanted to use for my trip. So if I didn't get it in time for my trip, I, I had to literally go ahead and like refigure out some outfits, which you'll see here and as well when I'm on my trip. But Jesse helped me out with that in the meantime. But now that I have it, I can also wear this to Ohana because I am going to Ohana restaurant during my stay um, on our Animal Kingdom day. And this is just so pretty. <gasps> mm. That is so cute. And I honestly forgot about it because she didn't show me any photos um, of what was being sent my way uh, to kind of keep the surprise a little bit. So love this. Thank you for picking this up, Jesse. I can't wait to wear that. Next is something that I know for a fact I did not order, Jesse. <gasps> Stop, you did not. Is that from the parks? Jesse. Uh... I think this is actually like Hot Topic or Box Lunch, but I have seen this. It is like um, a crew, like a crew neck sweater material. So a little bit thicker than like a t-shirt material. And it is an ugly sweater version of stitching. Mary Stitchmas. Girl. Girl, oh my God. Um, okay, so it is, I'm gonna kill you. Um, so, <laughs> so it is basically kind of like the ugly um, sweater. It's a print, it's a print on top of it. It's not like woven um, like an ugly sweater, but it is so comfy, the material. So we have all these colors of, you know, obviously green, red, and white. We have some um, kind of yarn looking snowflakes around him. And I don't know if you guys can see this. This is actually another material. It's kind of like a windbreaker kind of material, if you will. 
um, that is there uh, imprinted and embroidered on um, on the edgings here and it's him with a scarf and mittens and a Santa hat and it says Mary Stitchmas at the bottom. Oh my god. Uh. Okay, so I'm looking really forward to wearing this. Um, maybe Christmas in July. I'll do a Christmas in July maybe with this. That would be really fun. But I'm looking so forward to wearing this at Disney. Thank you so much, Jesse. You really didn't have to do that. I'm so excited for a trip. We, we honestly spoil each other, Jesse and I, but like, Jesse, you've gone overboard this time. You've gone literally overboard. The next item is actually one of the main items that uh, is gonna be used as a Disney bound where I am going to be going as Kronk as an acorn scout. We have... Yzma as an acorn scout that I'll be wearing along with it and it has her little ears. I knew I was getting this but it's just so cute in person that I cannot deal. Oh it's not like your regular, it's all like a soft material. What's that called? It's more of like a soft suede. It's more of a soft suede material. So here in terms of like the brown material, it's like a suede. This part is kind of like the fake leather material and then this is like suede again. So it kind of like represents her clothes and she has her little acorn hat on with her like little very unhappy face of her being a cat so can you imagine that with like Kronk's outfit I have like a brown shirt brown hat and like a green scarf like this to kind of put around as like a necktie I am living for this and also on the back it has her okay it has her tail and it says on the back of the bag as well too, it says squeak, oh my God, I didn't know it said that. It says squeakin with the acorn right there. Oh, I'm so happy this came in time. Now I'm in a little bit of predicament because Jesse and I figured out another outfit that I could wear for my Animal Kingdom day. But because I might be potentially returning back to Disney to finish off my annual pass more towards the end of August, that's that's another development that I'm, I. It's not for sure, but like either or, I'm gonna definitely wear it to Animal Kingdom and this is gonna be one of them. So Jesse, thank you so much for picking this up and I'm so glad it arrived because I wanted it so bad. I love Yzma. Now she did pre-warn me that there's stuff inside the bag and I do remember some other things that I got, so they're most likely in here. So let's go check, yes. So in the bag, the other thing that I wanted as well as Jesse from the park was um, the Christmas Cuties mystery box. So Jesse picked up four of these for me and I will make sure to do a separate video for these um, in terms of this unboxing while I'm away uh, for that exact reason. So it's Christmas Cuties and what I don't like is that they normally put the bigger images on the back but it's like all these disclaimers so you can't really see it but I'll try to Put them here. We have Mickey, Minnie, Chip and Dale, Stitch, um, Donald, uh, Huey, Dewey and Louie. We have Pooh and we have Orange Bird. And when I saw these, I was like, Jesse, we need these in our life. And I know that she got them. So we'll be able to trade if we have duplicates or vice versa, or I'll just sell them or bring them as traders for later on. These were all valued at $17.99 a box for two pins within them. Um, however, we have annual pass holder discount, so it's like an additional 20% on top of that. So thank you, Jesse, so much for picking this up for me as well. I cannot wait to open them. And that looks about it. Wrong. So there was actually a few things left in this front pocket that I stupidly forgot to check, even though she told me to check every pocket. And I got these two things. So I actually asked Jessie to pick up this slap bracelet, this Christmas slap bracelet for me. She also got one, if I'm not mistaken. We are huge 90s kids, huge slap bracelets fans. Um, and this one was no exception. It is just so cute. It's them all to buy and tubing all on snow and it does say on the back holidays are snow much fun and then from box lunch she also picked me up this um, stitch pin as Santa Claus so <laughs> completely forgot I also got those too but you know simple instructions did not follow them apparently um, but we got there eventually right Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's officially it, which thankfully so, because I do not want Jesse to spend that much attention on me and whatnot, but it's so, so sweet, all those little extra goodies. Um, but just to kind of show you the lining inside the bag, it basically says in like very like fall acorn scout like color. So a lot of browns and greens and acorns, it says squeakity squeakin 
Oh, that is hilarious. So it says squeakity squeak, squeakity squeakin. Oh my God, I love this bag so much. So again, Diz Nerds, I hope you had some fun with me in this Christmas part two, if you will, <laughs> um, post Christmas haul, whatever we're gonna name it, but basically it's a Magic Mail Monday, but compliments on my friend Jesse, who was able to go ahead and pick up some items for me from Walt Disney World and Box Lunch. So Jesse, thank you so much. You're always like the sweetest person ever. And I cannot wait to see you again later in the year. I'm so excited for our trips. So Disneyers, if you had some fun with me, please let us know by liking that this video right down below and put it in the comments down below. What was your favorite item? Are you gonna be returning back to Disney anytime soon? Cause that's currently where I am. And if you are of course liking the content that I'm putting out into the Disneyverse, please make sure to let me know by hitting those alerts, subscribing, so you can follow up on all those goodies that are coming up. I will also make sure, like I mentioned earlier, to put Jessie's links all down below because she has an amazing channel and she's the one that actually inspired me to become a Disney YouTuber. It's really thanks to her and, and just her amazing friendship and support. So Diz nerds, if I did bring some magic to your day, please make sure to pay that magic forward to somebody else who may need it. It's always a pleasure to be here with you and I will catch you from the other side. Bye Diz nerds. <laughs>